We're on episode 58 now, flying through these episodes. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm a little sick. It's a little cold here in Florida, and it doesn't get cold very often. And when it does, <clears throat> I don't know how to handle it. And I get a little sick, but that's not going to stop me from making these videos. I'm just going to throw on a hoodie, throw on a sweatshirt, and we good. Actually, this reminds me of, like early Yugo Pro videos. I think I might have had this same sweatshirt on. I was up in like a, someone left a comment one time like it was dark because I had the old, old camera. I think it was even older camera than this guy. Um, bad videos. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll clip it in right here. Hey, what's up guys? John Madden here from YugoProBaseball.com and uh, it's a beautiful day here in Central Florida. It's actually a little cold. I'm freezing right now. Um, but I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, throwing some pitches. The first but the question for episode 58 is now uh, from John on YouTube. He says, now, are heavier bats better for power because I feel like lighter bats? I can't swing as hard. Also, short versus long, can you hit farther with an inch longer versus shorter? <clears throat> Here's my thing with weight of bat that you use in a game. You want to swing the heaviest bat that you can possibly correctly and quickly. Okay? So there's going to come a point to where you get too heavy of a bat and it messes up your swing or it slows you down or you start to drag a little bit. Okay? So we don't want that. But we want the heaviest bat that you can swing correctly because the mass of the bat, the more weight it has behind it when it hits that ball, if you have good enough speed, it's going to make it travel further. Okay? So I always say the heaviest bat that you can swing correctly is what you want to swing in the games. Now, for training purposes, I love heavier bats, okay? It's going to help you get stronger, okay? This you can make a little bit more heavy than <clears throat> what you would swing in a game, okay? I like over-under training, 20% above and 20% below. So if you're going to be swinging a 33-30, let's say, for example, you would want to swing uh, a 36-ounce and a 24 ounce bat, okay, over and under. What I like to do is swing the heavy one first, then your actual one, and then your light one, okay? And you always take more swings with your regular bat because you don't want to get used to the heavy bat or the light bat. You want to be best with your regular bat. So if you do your over under training, you're going to start with your heavy, then go to your middle, then go to your light, and then finish with your middle. Okay, always. Usually I go through three things. I go on the knee, 10 heavy, 10 middle, 10 light. Then we come up and we do a, a, just a regular swing, 10 heavy, 10 middle, 10 light. And then we do like a happy Gilmore where you're stepping behind. 10 heavy, 10 regular, 10 light. And then we'll finish hitting with our regular bat. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. But remember, when you're picking your bat for the games, the heaviest bat that you can swing correctly is going to be your best bet. So you're always working to try to get stronger so you can swing a heavier bat. Now, with that being said, uh, inches doesn't really matter. It's just that's how much plate co coverage you're going to get. It can affect the, uh, the cut of the bat and the length can affect the way the bat feels balance-wise. So you can get a bat that is cut longer um, and shaped cut that way to where it feels lighter. Okay. So that may be something you want to look into, but that's just the feel thing. You're going to have to feel it and see which way these bats are cut. All right. So other than that, inches really don't matter. I hope that answers your question. Let me know if you have any more questions. Thank you for the hitting question. I know we've been doing so many pitching questions uh, here and uh, I will talk to you guys. L let me know below what size bat do you, how old are you and what size bat do you swing right now? Leave a comment below um, and we'll talk about it. All right. I'll tell you, see you in the next video.